Hi, I'm Steve Cooper, Poser Product Manager, and I wanted to show you guys a couple of uh, image samples of uh, subsurface scattering. They're really nice examples of what we're doing with Poser 9 and Pro 2012 with the new subsurface feature. Over here on the screen, I have an image which um, Baggins Bill created for us. It was a test um, showing Simon with uh, subsurface scattering off on the left and subsurface scattering on on the right. And when you notice the two together, it looks a little bit on the, on the blurrier side on the right side, but actually what's happening is that the light passing back through the texture is softening that light so it doesn't look as artificial and harsh. Um, as it does in the pure 3D render that's on the left. So I want to show a sample of a Mickey 3 image, and this is a really dramatic image. This is a, um, a standard, out-of-the-box, high-resolution rendering of Mickey 3, and you'll notice that on her nose, uh, there's a lot of um, uh, detail, and actually so much so that it almost looks plastic. And then, as well, take careful note of the, the shadowing on the lips and the teeth down below. You'll notice that it's kind of on the dark side and that shadow is really harsh. Well, in reality, teeth and skin are both translucent, meaning that they allow light to pass through them and uh, soften as it bounces back out. So here's a uh, very dramatic comparison that shows Mickey 3 was simply one simple subsurface scatter node applied to the existing material and then rendered with the subsurface scattering checked on. It takes a, just a few seconds longer to render, but the results are pretty dramatic. It really, really improves it. And ultimately what we look forward to this being used for is to create more realistic human renderings. You know, that, that's ultimately what Poser is used for. So if we can enable that and make it simple to use subsurface scattering, we figure it's a win-win. Hope you guys enjoy this.